gonna forgive uh, what happened when uh, students uh, got beaten up. That's when this pro-European protest turned into a protest when people demanded uh, uh, the president to resign. They are blind about uh, their position now. I mean, if they would uh, react and satisfy your demands at the very beginning, I think the, the protest just uh, will end somehow. Uh, it's better they, uh, that they will understand uh, quick enough that they lost already, because I think protests uh, uh, in Hong Kong now is a stage where there is no way back and protesters kind of winning already. But still there is a threat. Uh, I mean, yeah. Our revolutions, they are very similar, that's why I don't want you to repeat our experience where we lost lots of uh, people, uh, peaceful people uh, and uh, other people who survived, they were um, traumatized for, for a long time. It was a turning point when we uh, started to feel about death. People were saying that they're not afraid to die if necessary. But still, my personal opinion, I mean, you should avoid it, even if you're not afraid. Because um, when, you, uh, when you're in a protest, you feel crowd, crowd emotion. It's, it's, it's not really your emotion. Um, like brotherhood, uh, you, you, you can um, make decisions which uh, just can lead to, to, to death. As you see from our experience, uh, even a peaceful march can turn into massacre. Yeah, it's difficult to fight with China, yeah, mm -hmm. with such a huge, uh, also totalitarian system. You know, I lived in Soviet Union and so I understand what it's like to live in totalitarian system when all the human rights are absolutely suppressed mm -hmm. and when human life doesn't cost a thing. Mm -hmm. That's uh, not the way it should be. I uh, definitely support you and uh, wish you a lot of strength and power, but legal methods. Create something bigger than just protest, like uh, changing maybe the constitution, changing the uh, legislation, and so that's how it can work. It feels more free. We, we have uh, rights together um, on the street, and uh, nobody beats us up. Let's put it this way: we won a battle. Battle, I think. But still, we uh, some territories of Ukraine are occupied. Uh, so, and we're still trying to resolve our problems. Of course, we had these economical problems, but still, it feels. Um, I mean, you feel like uh, it's a free place, and you want to live here. Um, so, for example, I, I wouldn't immigrate to any other country because I feel all right here. We make choice. Uh, we decide. Uh, not somebody else tells us what to do. And um, that's why we basically called it the Revolution of Dignity. Human values, like the freedom of speech, the freedom of choice. If you don't have it, then uh, you don't really have a quality of life. So I definitely think that those things are very important and they are worth to fight for. Even we might die, even people might die? I would fight. <laughs>